The second threat we're going to run into, I'm going to go ahead and erase all this so we can kind of see a little bit clear, is if that threat, they start moving them around. Let's say that we star them here. So now in theory, or not in theory, actually the threat is number two. We are not going to take a corner, this is just our philosophy, we're not going to take a corner and decide that this corner is going to move inside. We won't do that. What we're going to do is take the closest safety. In this case, it's going to be our strong safety, and he's going to roll down, and he's going to try to play bump man inside, the same technique that the corners play, only he's going to play inside. Now this defense becomes the mouse. So the mouse is either number two or number three. We can work it either way. Sometimes we'll sub, we'll put a nickel back in here, whether it's a dime package, and we will have a designated defender that's going to run around the field in either snake or mouse. But for our purposes, if he aligns inside and we called snake, it automatically checks to mouse, if that makes sense. So now what do we have? We're still going to pattern match. That's not going to change for us. So the corner is going to automatically either play bump man or loose man. Corner over here is going to do the same. He's going to play bump man or he is going to play loose man. However we want to play that. Now the rotation, we have completely eliminated the threat. The safety now, this side, is going to work down and play the seam. Again, we are always going to rotate coverage to the threat, to the mouse or the snake. So that adjuster now is going to work to the seam. He's going to pattern read number two to number three. We're going to have a backer inside. One of these two is going to work to the hole. He's going to pattern read three to two. We're going to have our backside. Will is going to work to the backside seam. Again, pattern reading number two to number three. And we're going to have our weak side safety again, rotating coverage to the threat. Threat's right here. So now he will play center field. So the coaching point for the secondary is pretty simple. Rotate coverage to the threat. So what do we have here when we go in mouse? Well, the strong safety now is playing the man. He's going to have help from this seam defender. If this guy, if two goes flat, that seam defender is going to jump him as well, flat man. If he goes across the middle of the field, we've still got a man. Now that whole defender is going to help to double team him. So again, the purpose behind the coverage is to eliminate that threat as much as we possibly can. So now we have a situation where they were thinking we've got to move them around. So they decide to put their best receiver inside because they've seen we've been running a lot of snake concept with them. So they try to move them inside. What does that do for us? It automatically checks to mouse coverage. So you're going to see our safety now is going to play. He's playing a little more loose. I'd like to have him a little more inside. I don't like how wide he is. But he's going to go ahead and he's going to lock him up. So that's our concept right now. He's down, man, so we've got to rotate coverage to it. So right now we're going to have a hole defender. We're going to have a seam defender. In some way, shape, or form, these guys are going to work over the top. We're going to bump here. We're going to have a backside will that's going to work uh, to number one. So let's see what we get here. Now you'll notice a couple things here. Our seam defender right here is supposed to work two to three. Here's two. Two's the threat. We've already got him manned. So if all of a sudden two goes vertical, he's going to sit over top of him and work to three late in the flat. So you see we're going to get a collision inside. We're in pretty good shape here. We got to get in his hip right here, man him up. We're in good leverage here. We're in good leverage here. And I still have that safety help, help over the top. The pressure gets to them. They went three by one. They're going to isolate right here. So we've automatically, we've got our man coverage safety right here. He's got to stay inside leverage, taking him away. Obviously, number one, you can't see in the picture here at the bottom. But we're going to play a little bump man here. We'll play a seam defender here. We've got our seam defender here, our hole defender. We've got a safety working. So we've got these two 
doubling right here. We want to take him out of the game. So let's see what we end up with. Okay, he's again, you can't give up inside leverage. He's got help over the top, but we're giving up an easier throw. So I'm not real happy about this, but you're going to see him close over the top, and we'll have him bracketed with a free safety here. We're good leverage here on the hole. We're good leverage here. We're in great leverage here. Not real happy with the free safety. He's got to gain some more depth. He's getting flat-footed because he's worried about this guy. Well, we've got this guy bracketed, so he has to be coached up. Read the quarterback's eyes, keep gaining depth, and get over this post. Because I think the corner's in great shape, but he trips up, he falls down. We better have a safety over the top of that. But getting back to it, what is the purpose of the coverage? The purpose of the coverage is to eliminate this guy. And that's what we're accomplishing with this coverage concept. 